2757. With the power of Tandem HR, you are in the fast lane on Main Street with Get Down to Business with Shalom Klein, the show for business and jobs. Now, the champion of networking, the advocate of jobs, the guru of business, your host, Shalom Klein. We are all about small business jobs and entrepreneurship and business. We talk a lot about business here. You're on with Get Down to Business, and I'm your host, Shalom Klein. Remember, you can always download podcasts from Get Down to Business on my website at shalomklein.com. And while you're there, don't forget to follow me on Twitter at Shalom Klein. It's going to be a jam-packed week of content and information that you won't want to miss. It's a live show. You could call us at 312-642-5600, 312-642-5600. This week, we'll be joined by guests Matt Abels, Chris Everett, Michael Bertamini, and Michael Lorge, and I'll be sharing tips at the end of the program on how you can change careers. Yes, there is a recipe for that. Once again, it's a live show. You could call us at 312-642-5600. Get Down to Business is powered by Tandem HR, your solution center. You can find them at tandemhr.com. Or give them a call at 630-928-0510, 630-928-0510, or tandemhr.com. First up on the program, I've got Matt Abels here in the studio, uh, one of the founders of Built Worlds, which is just an incredible, growing, growing organization. You've got some big news in the works. Matt, welcome to the program. Thank you for having me. really appreciate it, and uh, you know, happy to be here. Absolutely. So tell our listeners about Built Worlds. So Built Worlds is, uh, we're a media company. We are focused on helping some of the old school industries, mainly construction, architecture, engineering, and real estate to understand some of the innovations and technology that that are going to affect the future of the industry. And the way we've gone about it is by educating the industry about what's coming to them. So we have a professional content team that writes about the exciting things uh, going on in the industry, whether that be what are the new technologies coming to the market, who are the CEOs disrupting the the industry, or what are some of the exciting projects uh, throughout the world that are utilizing technology. We have a video team. We're hosting events throughout the country. Uh, I do different speaking engagements for organizations in the different uh, industries that we serve. And uh, actually, we're a media sponsor for some of the larger conventions taking place like World of Concrete and Green Build and Tech Week. Well, Build Worlds is, a, as I said, a growing organization. When you go to the website, which of course we'll share with our listeners, it's filled with names and faces that many of our listeners likely would recognize. And when you go through the list of partners, sponsors, universities, it's pretty impressive. But there's a story behind this impressive organization. Uh, just a few short years ago, Built Worlds was just a, uh, a little idea, wasn't it? Oh yeah. Um, so we are uh, we're almost two years old now, and you know it's funny the uh, the other founder uh, Matt Gray, uh, you know he and I had met at the gym, and he said I, I got this great idea to help the construction industry do things a little bit better, and we started as a research company. We got into media by complete accident. Uh, we were we were set out, and at the time we were called Burnham Works. We were set out to help the construction industry. You know do things better, uh, faster, more efficiently with the use of technology, and actually hired some researchers. And as we brought these CEOs from different construction companies and transportation companies, everybody in this kind of built industry, uh, I, you know, consisting of those industries I had mentioned before, they all were not curious about how they could get better technology, but they just didn't know what was out there. And it was a clear lack of education. So that was when we started just writing about what's out there with a small blog and you know, uh, now a year and a half later, we've uh, invested most of our money into uh, a media business. A year and a half. That's incredible. And uh, you're based here in Chicago. Yep. And uh, is the presence of Built Worlds only in Chicago? No, we, uh, we're, a, we're a digital company and uh, our headquarters, we're actually, it, it's an exciting time for us. Uh, we've now graduated from our old co-working space to we now have our own location, uh, the old Threadless space uh, that is on 1260 West Madison, which people may be familiar with in the West Loop, but we're a digital company. We, uh, we're hosting events uh, all across the country. Even uh, last week, we were in San Francisco hosting an event with some of our partners out there. I've got most of my team going to Las Vegas next week to uh, be a media sponsor for the World of Concrete, but uh, physically, we are in Chicago 
And, um, you know, we reach about 50,000 people um, through our partners and through our newsletter. Matt, when I hear you talk about, uh, obviously, the pride of, of running Built Worlds and you, uh, you, you've mentioned several times your team. Um, your team is something that probably didn't exist just, as you said, a year and a half ago. Um, but you now have a group of people. I want you to tell me a little bit about the trials and tribulations and the joys of running a business. You mentioned you're moving your headquarters. Yep. That's something that's outside of the scope of running a media company. You are now responsible for a workspace. You are now an employer of people. Tell us the experiences and some of the lessons you've learned along the way with the hopes of maybe an entrepreneur listening to this program can learn something from the experience. I, I think, uh, a co- you know, one of the things we learned really quickly is, uh, you know, we started with two people. Today we have 18 people. And uh, I, I think in the beginning, we wanted to hire the right people, but we wanted to hire people quickly. It, and I will say that at the beginning, we just kept hiring and hiring and maybe didn't vet through the process as well as we could have. And, uh, you know, at the beginning, that was a little bit of trial and error. And now over time, and granted, as a bigger company, we've gotten more interest. But over time, we've done a much better job of finding talent. Uh, we've used multiple different resources but also referrals have been a, a good source of finding the right people. Um, you know, it's funny. One of the, the charities I'm involved in, Interman Angels, um, has indirectly connected me with three of our three of our employees. And, you know, having having good referrals and networking, just letting people know that you have jobs that are open has led us to having great people. I, I will say the best story I've ever had is we have an unbelievable graphic designer. Her name is Corinne Mock. She actually does the graphic design work for before us for Bill Nye, the science guy. <laughs> but the reason I got connected with her is I was just, I was telling my sister over at lunch at the Soho house that we really needed a graphic designer of unbelievable talent. And our waitress uh, at the time said, I got the person for you. Two weeks later, we hired our graphic designer who is a, uh, a big part of uh, some of the beautiful designs you see on our website and the banners we make. So it sounds like it's all about networking. It's all about those relationships and uh, doors have continued to open for you guys. The the networking and relationships um, and having good people around us has helped us get good people. It's helped us get good sponsors and, and it's helped us have uh, really a lot of advocates around us. I mean, I, I consider a lot of our success and our growth because we surround ourselves with good people, with good companies, and a good network. What is the biggest surprise that uh, you faced in running a business? Uh, what is the the thing that you just didn't expect you'd be spending that much time in? I I would say with uh, you know starting as a starting as a research company and growing to what we are today, I didn't realize that I would spend so much time focused on you know technology in Silicon Valley or traveling to you know traveling from College Station to San Francisco to Las Vegas to New York. I, I never thought that we would reach such a span so quickly that we would have resources and connections of you know some of the the highest uh, level companies throughout the country so quickly. Well, now as you do that, no doubt the relationships. Uh, speaking about that again, and the network uh, that you've built have now expanded. It's no longer just a Chicago presence. <laughs> you now have a national presence, which. Uh, is pretty impressive for a young company and organization. As I look at your website, uh, again, we'll share that website in just a moment. Uh, I look at your February calendar, and there's literally, uh, February is a short month, uh, almost every single day is is filled with things on the calendar, events that, that Built Worlds is involved in. So you should be very proud of that success, and your team should uh, should be proud of that. And uh, and of course, we uh, we look forward to our listeners getting a hold of of your fantastic team and celebrating that new headquarters and that new growth. So, uh, Matt Abels, uh, co-founder, uh, managing director of uh, of Built Worlds. How can our listeners get a hold of you if they want to learn more and find out more about some of the events and programs coming up? Uh, if you guys would like to know more about Built Worlds, I would say the best thing to do, go to uh, builtworlds.com, uh, or you can reach me at my email. Um, you can reach me at uh, matt.ables, A-B-E-L-E-S, at builtworlds.com. And, um, you know, we're always, uh, we're always looking for feedback about our site or anything you see, and I'm happy to, you know, connect with anybody. I promise if you email me, I will get back to you. And Built Worlds even has an online story. You get a Built Worlds t-shirt, which is pretty exciting. Yeah, we've you know we uh, we have a lot of swag. We I've realized being in 
you know, the media and events business, having swag is an important thing, and our our events people have a lot more on their plate uh, than I ever thought we would a year and a half ago. But swag is, is an important mm-hmm. thing. When you go to these events with 70,000 people, you got to have the keychains, the T-shirts, the hats. The, you hear the that? Get ordeal. down to business listener. Swag is important from the co-founder and managing director <laughs> of Built Worlds. Check them out, builtworlds.com. Get down to business is brought to you in part by Everett Wealth Solutions, a registered investment advisor and financial planning firm, a fiduciary advisor that helps you create your personal financial wealth. You can find them at everettwealthsolutions.com or give them a call at 708-771-7777. 708-771-7777. After the break, we are going to be chatting with Chris Everett of Everett Wealth Solutions and Everett College Funding about FAFSA, those five letters that most people don't fully understand. We've got a fully packed lineup of guests. We're going to be learning from Michael Bertamini, Michael Lorge, and I'll be sharing tips on changing careers. Don't touch that dial. You're listening to Get Down to Business.